Hello, this is Ivy with Telecam. I know many of our users are using Telecam's PTZ cameras with vMix to produce their shows. The same as us, we are also using vMix for our recording and also live webinar. So today I'm, gonna, I'm very excited to explore what's new in the vMix that just released the beta version on Wednesday. It's the vMix 27. So let's uh, check it one by one. So first of all, you can find uh, in the vMix forum uh, the latest post that uh, Martin posted for the v uh, better version vMix download link. And one of the most exciting new features is the Zoom integration with vMix. But to use this functionality, you need to make sure that you already installed the Zoom plugin for vMix. So um, here I... I didn't want to install a beta version software in my production computer. So on my production computer, it is the current vMix 26. But uh, on my personal laptop, I installed the beta vMix 27 and I put it to uh, for you to compare the new features and uh, the current features. So first one is the new layer design. So here in the layer design, you can see this is how it is, it's looked like. In the beta version, when you click layers, you can see the difference is here. Uh, you can move, crop, okay, and also Adjust the border to turn it on and off, choose the color, and adjust the thickness, radius, okay? And you can ch change to different uh, layers. So this is the new uh, layer design between the vMix 26 and 27. Okay, and the next new feature is the Zoom integration, as you can see here. Now I'm going to use the beta version of the vMix 27. And when you click Add Input, you can see there's a Zoom logo at the bottom of the list. And click OK, you can join a Zoom meeting. Now let's connect. I think this is the meeting I set up with my Colleague Zoe, and I'm gonna click OK and see whether we can connect. Okay, so now you can see Zoe is here. Hello, Zoe. Hi. Okay, so you can just pull any stream from anywhere uh, via the Zoom plugin, and it's so easy for you to make a maybe an online webinar or on, um, online talk show podcast. So it's very convenient to draw. Uh, different streams from maybe different locations. So this is a very exciting new feature of the uh, Zoom integration with vMix. I'm lo very looking forward to use this function for our next webinar. Okay, moving on to the next new features is the AV1 and HEVC for RTMP streaming. But I think the AV1 now is only, in, uh, only supports YouTube live streaming. And next is the a hardware encoder for, by default for most modern GPUs. But this too requires uh, a NVIDIA GeForce 4050 or higher. And I installed it. I installed the beta vMix 27 on my laptop. So I don't think my laptop will support the, will meet the requirements. So I will jump these two features. Next one is the Stream Deck supports uh, the deck, the dials, and the touch screen. It says many shortcuts have been updated to automatically with the dials such as color. I think that means if your uh, stream deck has the dials, which is the higher level, you can see mine is only has the buttons. So if your stream deck has the dials and has the LED screen, I think you can just by twisting the knob and you can adjust the image colors. Okay, but I'm not going to try it here. Okay, next one is the external outputs expanded to four. All right, so let's take a look. 
external output. So uh, under the settings, you can see this is the old vMix 26, current, not old, current vMix 26. And here, external output, you can set up two output destination. But in the new one, they are four, yes. So uh, with the vMix 27, you can set up four maximum destinations for one show at the same time. All right, so now what are the other new features? Over 150 new shortcuts, layers, and crop adjustments, loop toggle effect. Uh, so all the shortcuts are under the settings. Um, here, under the settings, this is the VMix 26, the current ones, they are the shortcuts here. You can find all the functions that you can set up directly as a shortcut. So what about the new um, VMix 27 beta? Under the settings and shortcuts, So I think um, most of the new shortcuts are under the input section. You can see there are a lot of new ones, but we are not gonna go through it one by one because I think we can, we can uh, find it or explore it during our preparation or rehearsal of the live event. So we're not gonna do it, uh, check it one by one. So this is the new uh, more than 100 new shortcuts. Okay, and for next new feature, the web browser and NDI version updates, a uh, web browser. I'm gonna add a web browser input here on the old vMix 20, current vMix 26. So here you have version up to version 103. It's still loading. Okay, what about the new 27? I'm gonna add an input web browser, the same, telecam.com. Uh, you can see the latest version is uh, V115. A little bit faster than the, the old one. Okay. So basically what we just went through are the new features of the vMix 27 beta version. Uh, we don't know when, when is the official version going to be released, but let's stay tuned. And thanks for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, or comment. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.